So a technique that I've used more this year than probably than any other year I have bass fishing has been fishing a wacky rig stick bait. Whether it's the Yamamoto Senko or here the Zoom Fluke stick or the brand new Zoom Zlinky, I've skipped this bait uh, around boat docks, shallow water vegetation. I've fished it on weed lines, letting, casting out, letting it sink. I've caught more fish this year on a wacky rig soft plastic stick bait um, than ever, probably ever before. And I mean, I know it's a popular technique, but I just, you know, have used other techniques previously. So one of the keys to my success is using the Trocar TK-137 Pro-V finesse hook, uh, Nico hook, whatever you want to call it. And the reason I like this hook is down at the bend here, this little V, I think it keeps my bait, it keeps it really secure in place. So when you're skipping this bait, it's not going to slide. So I use this Arsenal tube shield here. So you slide it on uh, and it, that way you're not going through as many baits. And the combination of that tube shield and the V there at the bottom of this Trocar finesse hook it's not going to move. So when I'm skipping it around boat docks, I don't have to be spend more time rigging. I can just focus on fishing. And with all these troll car hooks, they're laser sharp. So when I set the hook and, you know, with spinning tackle, you don't need to re re reel that rod back super hard. You just kind of pick up the slack and sweep set. And with these troll car hooks, they're, since they're so sharp, you're getting a solid hook set every time. What's great about fishing a soft plastic stick bait on shallow water cover is I can skip it under those boat docks and now in between the boat docks there's these lily pad patches. I can just cast right to the edge of that lily pad patch and since I'm using a braid to floral line combination, I know that if I set the hook I'm not going to have to worry about getting that fish out of the cover. So it's a real versatile application when you're fishing shallow water because you can really just keep one rod in your hand and keep going. So that's why I use the Trocar Pro-V finesse hook. As you can see, that fish was just kind of scattered out there and I was working along and I just sweep set it and I just hooked them good. Nice fat one. The Pro-V finesse hooks also come in a weedless model. So if, you want, if you're fishing around real head brushy cover, um, though that's what's gonna get your hook hung up the most. You can use the hooks with the weed guard. So if you're, looking, if you're a wacky rig fisherman, Nico rig fisherman, I use these hooks on my drop shot as well. If you're doing any finesse applications with a spinning rod, check out the Trocar TK-137 Pro-V finesse hooks.